Okay, I messaged a lot of people, a lot of them were offline. We got one replay from Dr. Strange himself. Strange is a pretty high rated Protoss. I think it's about 6.5k on EU, 6.6. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, but we got a PvP. So, Alpha Star last game was like six, seven days ago. So, I don't know if they stopped playing because people figured out which accounts are Alpha Stars because people were sniping them. And, you know, I'm a douchebag. I wanted to snipe them as well. But I did not manage because they never showed up online after that. So, yeah. Um, I actually am very excited to analyze more of alpha star Protoss's replays not so much terran and zerg uh, again i don't think they're good and uh i am i was only kind of impressed by the Protoss one so <clears throat> from what i know strange won this game i think he won this game so we'll see from uh, alpha star point of view let me just double check if it's him yep it is him same apm is e apm so I want to see what it does. I'm very curious about the Protoss one because I want to see its reaction, uh, what it does, because that's the, the one AI that I found was very, very interesting and it had some really uh, good moves. Oh my god, spoiler. Well, this is not this is not a cast. Okay. Okay. This is a replay analysis. Wait, is it going to fast expand? Only one gas. Wow, it's gonna fast expand in PvP. Wow, I did not expect that from Alpha Star. I don't think I'm. I'm trying to think. Like maybe Strange was random this game, but I don't think Strange ever plays random. Yeah, well, it didn't work, yeah. He did lose the game, but it's very interesting that it's trying to expand. And I'm also very interested to see how it will react. Okay, Strange is walling off in the main, or not walling off, but, you know, you know what I mean. Second pylon right there. Okay. Is it gonna chrono the stalkers? Adept. Robo? I mean, it sees it's one base. It has to be a Robo, right? Stargate? Really? Uh, it's a Stargate, alright. Two Adepts. I mean, I don't know how it defends against, like, two Stalkers. Like, I feel like two stalkers just come and probably kill it now. Not, not entirely sure. Let's see. It's chrono boosting adept, but it's not going across the map. Oh, no, it is. Okay, I waited for two. Scouting a little bit. Void Ray? Phoenix? Phoenix. There's no way that you would hold an all-in with this. Absolutely no way. Like, a, a two-gate push would kill you. Oh, it has two in the gas in the main, not three. That's another thing I just noticed. Okay, so two stalkers arrive. Okay, good target fire. Alright. Like, this is where the AI seems to be, like, bugging out. Like, it doesn't know what to do. Huh. 
Ah, it's funny, the, the AI forgot the adepts the whole time. Or forgot, didn't micro them. I wanna see something. I mean, that's it. Okay, now the AI sees proxies. Okay, did it did So AI scouts it is not the wall off. Okay, so one thing I wanted to mention. APM no it is it is look APM is almost similar to or same to EP, EAPM. Okay, so a couple of things I wanted to address first. A lot of people were very not satisfied with the way I was analyzing these replays uh, on YouTube. Uh, because Again, I don't know a lot about AI. I'm gonna just say it straight up, right? I don't know how they're uh, Programmed and I know that the play styles are not programmed. I understand that because many people were very quick to point it out many times uh, But I don't know how the whole process is going But a lot of people seem to have opinions on how the AI actually exactly works and yeah, so anyway, um, so when I was analyzing replays, I basically said that the Terran and Zerg 1 are not impressive because they're not scouting, they're not, like, doing anything impressive, it just seems they're following build order, and I said that it looks like, it seems like, that the Zerg 1 has a build order and it just does that build order no matter what, like, it just does it no matter what. I don't see any artificial intelligence kind of play style. I see a bot that does the same thing every game. All the games that I've seen from Zerg AI, it did the exactly same thing. And a lot of people were very upset at this, me saying this, because they're like, no, it's not programmed, it's Alpha Star, it's self-learning, uh, you know, it's this, it's that. But at the end of the day, it is following the same build order. And compared to the Protoss AI that I feel like scouts and reacts to things, which in my opinion is what alphas are supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be human-like, to scout, to react to things, or at least that's how I understood this Alpha Star project, right? To actually play the game and not to just do one build over and over and, and it hopes it, it works based on its percentage win rates. So when I was talking about this, a lot of people said, well, that's not how the AI thinks, that's the AI doesn't scout. Uh, what a lot of people explain it as, um, if the AI misplaces a pylon here, but it wins, for example, it's going to do it every game because it just won by placing a pylon there. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly how that works, because I think we would see a lot more dumber things from the AIs if that was actually the case. Uh, again, I don't know, but to me that doesn't seem like that's a thing. So, basically what a lot of people said is, uh, I'll just let this play again, because why not? Um, basically what a lot of people said is, the reason why the Zerg one and the Terran one don't scout is because they have a strategy and um, the scouting does not impact their win rate on the strategy because it's pre-picked, right? And they, a lot of people said that <clears throat> if, that even if the AI saw something, it wouldn't have mattered for the outcome based on their history of games, right? So the AI basically, like if you're gonna do a 12 pull, right? There's no reason to drone scout, something like that, because you're 12 pulling anyway. So that was people's argument. Now, I understand that 100%, and that does exist in StarCraft where uh, you know, if you're doing a cannon rush, you're just cannon rushing. You're not gonna scout what your opponent's doing because it doesn't matter, you're cannon rushing, right? But at the same time, my argument was that the Zerg AI had Zerglings with speed ready, but it never scouted. It could have, because why not? It was free scout, but it never did. And that's why I made the argument, or not the argument, but gave my opinion that it looks like it's literally programmed to do one build. And people took that literally, like I think, like I'm thinking that people at the deep mind are literally programming builds into Alpha Stars. That's obviously not what I think. I just said, 
because of how it played and what it did, it seems like it's just doing one thing no matter what, and there's not a lot of artificial intelligence there. It's it's just doing a A to B kind of movement compared to the Protoss AI where I feel like it's playing the game. It's not following a pattern, it's playing the game, it has a lot of different build orders, um, it's reacting, it's building certain uh, different units, certain units in certain situations and so on. And I do feel like that the, the Protoss AI is the only AI that does that. The other two AIs I, I don't see it. Uh, the Zerg one definitely is very good. It executes the build very good. Macro is very good, execution is very good. I just don't see that intelligence in it. The Terran AI just seems confused, uh, I'll be honest. From what I've seen, it just seems like it doesn't quite know what it's doing. So this is why I want to look more into the, the Protoss games and Protoss replays uh, and kind of figure it out for my own. Uh, or try to figure out for my own and kind of, you know, see what, what happens. Uh, another thing that people uh, mention many times is that I shouldn't try to analyze the games because they're AIs, they're not humans. And from AI point of view, some of the things will not make sense and they're not logical, but they will still do them. I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how it works. If I only saw Zerg and Terran, I would agree with that. But the the fact that Protoss is different and the fact that Protoss plays differently, I would say that's not true. And I would say that Protoss AI definitely does things for a reason. And I'm gonna show it in this game right now. Uh, one thing that I noticed, why it built the Adepts and why it went this build. I do think that AI obviously plays, you know, thousands of games and it chooses what the best thing is. But again, the common thing is the Protoss AI does not do that. I've checked the Protoss uh, Alpha Stars match history. It does a lot of different builds. It does not do one build. And that's not because it thinks that all the builds are the best builds. It is reacting to things and it's changing the builds because of it or because of the map. While on the Zerg one and the Terran one, that did not happen. No matter what the map was, no matter what the matchup was, the Zerg one did the same in every matchup. Um, another thing that I want to say, which I found a little bit ridiculous. Uh, how do you know which agent played? Pretty sure it's the same agent. They're not mixing in agents. And if they did, the Zer why would the Zerg ones do all the exactly same thing? It's the same agent. It's three different agents that they probably thought were the best. Um, so another thing that like bothered me quite a bit is people... People's argument for Zerg Alpha Star was that the reason why it's doing that strategy and the reason why it's not scouting is because it probably had an 80-90% win rate. So it figures, well, I have good win rate, so I'll keep doing the same thing. So that means it's not learning at all, right? That means it just peaked and that's it. It's not doing anything. It's not learning, right? It's just doing the same thing over and over. But what's interesting to me, right? Alpha Stars played against one another. Uh, uh, different agents, different Zerg agents, different Protoss uh, agents and Terran agents played uh, different strategies against one another. They all developed at the same time, but they took different paths, which is the same thing that we've seen from Alpha Stars when they played against uh, Mana and TLO. They matched up different Alpha Stars against Mana. They were different agents, and you saw one guy went for Mass Blink, one guy went Blink Phoenix, one guy went for Void Ray Proxy. They all did different things. They all learned different paths. So my point is, if this Zerg Alpha Star has an 80-90% win rate, that would mean that it beat all the other Alpha Stars it was training against 80-90% of the time. Right? Because it's not doing anything else, it's just doing one thing. If that's the case, and if the other Alpha Stars are losing against it, why did no Alpha Star adapt to that strategy, right? Isn't Alpha Star supposed to learn from its games and adapt? So assuming that one Alpha Star is got to this point with this build where it's winning, why are the other ones not doing anything? Like they're just losing to it over and over without trying to change anything? Like I, that, that's the part I don't get. Why does one Alpha Star work on how Alpha Star I imagine it and then the other one it works like it's programmed. I don't know. To me, a little unlikely. I, it doesn't make sense. 
Uh, it has a 95% chance win rate on ladder, not against the other alpha stars. Well, you don't know that. Um, and also, why would it do this? I agree with the argument. Why would it do the same build over and over if you thought it wasn't good? Just because one agent can beat the best, that agent might lose more often and have a lower overall win rate. Well, see, that's the thing. So a lot of people, are, uh, a lot of people's arguments were, well, alpha stars. Basically, people's argument about alpha stars' existence is, if alpha star puts the nexus misplaced and wins, it will keep putting the nexus misplaced because that's why it will think that that's how they gather information. That's what people have said, right? But this is why this doesn't make any sense. You can make the argument for the Zerg Alpha Star because it's doing the same build. You can say, well, that build clearly had the best win rate, so it's doing that build. But why does the Protoss one change the builds then? Did it not find the one build that has higher win rate? Do all the builds that it's doing have exactly the same percentage win rate, if that's the case? But that's not the case because you have two different AIs playing completely differently. So it's, it does not work like that. If it did work like that, the Zerg, the Terran, and the Protoss Alpha Star would be doing the same builds and same playstyles every single game, but they don't. One of them has a brain. The other two do not. Guys, oh my God, people in the chat, listen, I'm not saying it's learning from the ladder. This, what, when did I even say that? I never said they're learning from the ladder. AIs are not learning shit from the ladder. AIs are practiced and they're put into the ladder to see how far on the ladder they can get. They're not learning from a single game on the ladder. I am talking pre-ladder stage. That's what I'm talking about, that, that learning, right? Um, so to me, that doesn't make sense because I can see people's arguments, I can see their point of view, but that should be the same for every AI. If that's the, the route that the AI is taking, that the AI is learning, that all of them should take it. And if that's not the case, I don't think you can say, well, the Zerg one does it that way, but the Protoss one doesn't. I don't think that's how that works. And at the end of the day, I don't know, right? I, I honestly don't know. Maybe one day they're gonna come out and say how it is. It, it doesn't seem that the two AIs have anything in common, the Protoss one and the Zerg one. Now, when DeepMind did its testing back in whenever it was January, they said, and I remember, that all agents were let on their own to analyze, play, learn, and do stuff on their own. And they got to different points with different units, different tech. We even saw the Disruptor Protoss AI with Blink Stalkers. Um, and again, uh, that's the part I completely get. You know, all the AIs train different things and they all figure out what works the best for them. But it still doesn't explain the Protoss AI doing almost a completely different thing every single game. Because it's 100% not choosing what the best win rate percentage is. It is reacting to what it's seeing and it's building different units and different buildings based on what it sees. That's my whole point. The AI once made a speeding rush. I've heard about that. I haven't seen the game, but I heard once it did a speeding rush. All the other games, I guarantee, it was exactly the same thing. The Roach Raven thing. Or the, the Roach Ravager thing, sorry. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the Zuri AI knows something more than we do. I have no idea. Maybe it's scouting something and it's telling it, okay, well, you can just do the Roach thing and it, it's all good. I don't know, but at the end of the day, I don't think anyone knows exactly how the alpha stars are not necessarily learning but working a lot of people think that there are no patterns in what they're doing i think they are i just think it's a lot harder for the zerg AI to, to see the pattern in the zerg ai just because of how the zerg race works now one thing i want to note here about this replay so this is what happens and this is why i think this alpha star went for why is there no music this is why i think this alpha star did what it did so it goes for fast expand which is uncommon in pvp but then it sees that there's no wall off and i believe like 99 percent i'm certain that the only reason why the alpha star is expanding and goes adepts after 
even though that's a bad move if you're gonna fast expand like this you have to go stalkers to defend um, the only reason why Alpha Star is going for this is because it's so no wall at the ramp. And because it's so no wall at the ramp, I can guarantee from the games it's played, it does not see Chrono boosting two adepts and sending them to kill probes as a bad choice because it is always a good choice, no matter what you play against, whether it's, um, you know, two gate opening to expand or target or whatever. But because it expanded, this was a bad choice. I don't think Alpha Star, I, I am 99% sure if Alpha Star saw scouted that this is the wall off, it would not go for adepts. I am 99% sure it would go for stalkers. You can see the rally straight across the map and it doesn't even scout around it. It seems like it's just locked onto the fact that the ramp was not walled off. It even waits for the second adept and goes straight across the map. And you can see when the stalkers arrive, the Alpha Star doesn't have a clear response, right? Because with these two adepts, it goes across the maps and it knows it's going to kill the probes. That's the goal. Oh, for previous experiences, that's the goal. But when the enemy stalkers arrive, it's like running around, it's building shield batteries here, then it starts building shield batteries here. It's making Phoenix, which again, I mean, maybe, but again, you would need stalkers. And yeah, I don't know. I just think that in this specific game, we would see a different result if there was a wall up here. And I think that's why, um, that's why it, it made units that it did. Um, now you'll see when the stalker arrives, it's like going around, herpa derping, going back and forth, builds more shield batteries and stuff like that. Um, now tries to fight it, obviously it's not gonna work, and yeah. Yeah. Um, that's as far as this replay goes. This is a very short replay, so it's hard to pull a lot of conclusions, but if there was one conclusion to pull from, I would say that that's the one. Um, another thing that might have happened is... Um, that just goes through my mind why it made two adepts let's say let's say it knew it was an all-in because the shield batteries were in time right it she just didn't have units to defend and now it warps in a stalker by the way so it's not warping in a depth it's warping a stalker um maybe if it expands and it goes double adept right and the enemy marches across the map if the adepts get in it still does damage so even if something happens back at its base it's still ahead so it, it works out for alpha stars in the end and then at the point where it's building shield batteries the adepts are killing probes so maybe it figures i don't need to hold the natural i can just hold the main and i'm ahead anyway i don't know I'm just theory crafting uh, because yeah or you know it might be what a lot of people think that di is just dumb and uh it just does things because it does things and it doesn't react to anything which i don't think is the case all right, but yeah, it never scouted a proxy. I mean, it scouted it now, but it's a little, a little too late. Wait, when did it scout this proxy actually? I scouted it here. Yeah, a little too late. All right, that's it for this one. And a little uh, long ass discussion as well. What is the proper counter to this proxy build? Well, scouting it. The second game from the Protoss. This new iteration of Alpha Stars is still oversaturating probes, uh, mineralized with probes and drones. No, I don't think it is. Um, yeah, so the, the Alpha Star is not learning from games, the latter games right now, but obviously they will upload those games for themselves to learn from after that, right? But they're not learning in the moment they're playing. That's, that's the whole point. Um... Alright, so this is the, the game that I messaged Kaczynski, he already showed me one TVT, um, and he actually has, he actually has like four replays versus Alpha Star, so. Thank you Kaczynski, very nice. Okay, so this is the, the Protoss Alpha Star. Okay. 
let's see. This is PvT, by the way. I have not seen a single PvP, I think. We've seen PvZ from the Protoss Alpha Star. We've seen PvP. This is the first PvT that we have, that I have ever seen, at least. Uh, because we've seen a lot of PvPs from the one, you know, versus Mana. So I'm very excited to see this one. Let's see what it does. And also, Kaczynski sniped Alpha Stars, so he knew that they were Alpha Stars. Okay. That's one thing I wanted to mention. I don't know if it's gonna matter, uh, because I don't I don't think Kaczynski actually did anything weird. I think he just played standard, but he knew they were Alpha Stars. <laughs> I love how I love how the Proto Alpha Star knows to harass the SUVs. I don't know why, but I find that very amusing. Like it just knows it's obnoxious. It, it knows. That's a very late Cybercore. It built an extra probe. Well, I mean, very late. You know, it built an extra probe. Okay, so this is this is what I mean. This is exactly what I mean. This Alpha Star, he, he literally just waited with the probe to make sure the command center is down. It is reacting to things. It is scouting. It is doing things that make sense. That's, that's why I wanted the Protoss Alpha Star replays. Because I feel like it's playing the game. It might not play the game 100% correct. It might not do the best builds, the best moves. But I do feel it's playing the actual game. It's not just... You know? Anyway. Let's see. Adept. Okay. I think... Oh, is this the... Is this the Stargate? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. It's... Okay, that's cute. It started the Adept. And then it cancelled the Warp Gate. Look, it starts the Warp Gate and Adept. Then cancels the Warp Gate. Who puts on Stargate? Okay. Glory to the dead. Let's see. Another adept, Chrono Wisting Probes. This is the game where I think I saw in the match history it went for Phoenix Robo. Which I'm very curious about. This is the... If you guys watched my stream recently, I've been going for... Um, well, in PvP I've been going Phoenix Immortals. But in PvP I've been going Phoenix Colossus. Like five Phoenix into Colossus. So we'll see what it does. Okay, Oracle first. Has 17 probes in the main. Interesting. So it doesn't do like the 18, 19 anymore, but it does 17. Maybe because it doesn't pull the probes from the gas to build, but it pulls the probes from the mineral line. That's the only thing I can think of. See, this is what I mean. It gets supply blocked. Like it's not, it's not perfect. Okay, it does the harassment. The adept harassment that the Protoss Alpha Star has in PvZ, and from what I'm seeing now in PvT, is very good. Oh, it lets it finish. That's a mistake. And I'm assuming it let it finish because it saw that there's no units with shades, but they were right behind shades. Okay, makes a shield battery. It's gonna get supply blocked for a little bit again. That oracle's dead. No. Wow. Amazing. Okay, very late robo. Like very, very late robo. Pro count 43 to 31. So quite a quite a big lead right now. Making so many pylons in the natural. So I know 
for a fact that I mean I, I know 99% sure that Alpha Star doesn't make two shield batteries in the natural every game. I think the reason why it's doing it is because it either lost two adepts or because it did damage. So it figures if I did damage, I can afford two shield batteries in order not to take more damage. By the way, it's over probing. Again, it's still over probing. It has 18 in the main and 18 in the natural. Oh, that Oracle. Oh, it's gonna survive. Ooh, shades in on depths again. Yeah, that's a mistake. Okay, gets an observer and a third. Loses a phoenix and an oracle. Gets a third down. Eighteen probes in the main. Oh, it's gonna go into Colossus. Whoa, and a fourth? I don't know about that. Why does it add a fourth? That's interesting. This is literally, I mean, it's almost the same thing. I wouldn't add a fourth now. I would add double forge and twilight and more gates. But this is the build that I've been doing. And it also makes way more Phoenix. I stop at five, but it keeps making Phoenix. How many probes is it on? 58. Okay, forge, we'll see if it goes for one or two. Colossus started up, Chrono Boosting Colossus, extended thermal lens. Wait, the army, what, the army left, but the AI yeah, didn't see it. Ah, uh, he did not see the army. Good force fills. Ah, uh, there's gonna be a hold. With two shield batteries. Easy. Who does it block? Yeah, I don't know about that. Pushing still. <laughs> so Kaczynski was probably like, what, you have four bases already? PVT, am I right? Where's the Colossus? Oh, there it is. Uh, the micro on the glasses. Like this is a real human gameplay. Like that that's how it looks like. That's why I'm impressed with this AI. Because if you showed me a game and you didn't tell me this is Alpha Star, I would think this is a human. That's that's what's impressive about this. To me, that's what Alpha Star should be. I wanna see a game. And I want to not be able to differentiate a human and an AI. I think that's the whole point of Alpha Star. Like, this many Phoenix, I would say maybe it's weird, but I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, that's an AI. <laughs> he hallucinated that Colossus. See, I don't know how errors work for the AI. Like, I don't know if that was a mistake. Wait a minute, it's doing the... It's doing the very similar thing to what it did in PvP. Do you guys remember um, Games Against Mana in January? I feel this is like the same AI that's doing this, except it's better. Do you guys remember games where the AI went for Phoenix 3.8 into Expand, then got 16 uh, probes on the minerals, and then it added another Stargate, and it kept warping in gateway units, and, and just Phoenix constant production. It did not transition out of Phoenix ev ever. It just kept going Phoenix. I feel like this is the same thing we're seeing from this AI. It's making Colossus, but it's it's still making Phoenix. 
and it's still just expanding constantly. Man, I wish this game was like 20 minutes so I can see what they're gonna do after this. It's making zealots. That's exactly what the other AI did. It just kept making zealots with with Phoenix. Once it it initially warped in stalkers, but it went when it ran out of gas, it kept warping in. Uh, yeah, Twilight very late. Like it's on five base, and it still doesn't have charge or blink. Okay, Terrence pulling the SCVs. I just saw it on the minimap, and that's way too big of an army, considering how much it lost. So it has to be SCVs. Swarping in some stalkers now. Yeah, there you go. That's so interesting. It just kept, it just kept making Phoenix. The Proto AI. I saw games against Zerg, and games against Protoss before with Mena, and it tried to do Phoenix in the earlier match in PvP, and it's doing Phoenix now. There's no way that this is the same AI like, the one versus Mena, but they're coming to the same conclusion that making Phoenix continuously is good for one reason or another i find it very interesting because that's the the one unit that stands out to me um it did not use the depth before in january versus mana it did use the very late twilight upgrades for gateway units but it's it's still making phoenix constantly i think that's really interesting because in theory, right, if you have Colossus and you have Zealots to tank for the Colossus, Phoenix take care of everything in air, and you lift the Marauders with Phoenix, you're left with Colossus versus Marine Interaction. Man, I, I wish I have more replays from Protoss AI. I want to try this. I want to try continuously building Phoenix and seeing how it plays out in every matchup. Another thing, I saw another match history of PvP match where Alpha Star opens Stargate Robo and it makes Immortal Phoenix, which again is a thing I've been doing in PvP. But I wonder, does it transition? When does it transition? But I saw that it kept making Phoenix the whole time. Another thing is, if you think about it, Phoenix are probably the most cost efficient unit in the long run if you can keep them alive because they're energy based units. But they're probably the earliest energy-based unit that you can get in StarCraft 2 that's going to give you value over time, right? Like Infester will give you more value or High Templar, but you can make them much later and they're much more vulnerable. Phoenix, I mean, they're kind of hard to lose. You, you literally have to run them over units to lose them. So Phoenix will give you a lot of value over time, which is maybe why the AI chooses to go for them. I want to see something again. When does it get a it it made the gases very late like if you see here the first two depths yolo in i want to try this after when i play ladder i'm going to pick products and i'm going to play some of the games like this um okay so it's it's constantly chrono boosting stargate and then he gets double gas very early. Robo very late, by the way. Very, very late. Oh wait, it did see that there's no star pour. Maybe that's why it made shield batteries, because it thought it's frontal attack. See, this is why I need more Alpha Star replays, because if I see more of the same games, like openers, same way, I can see when and why it's reacting differently. So it adds two more gates, and those two gates stay there for a while. It's fully saturated, it's still making probes. Does it ever stop making probes? Now it switches the Chrono Boost into Robo? Making sentries with excess gas, getting the robo bay. Only one observer. Where is that observer? It just keeps it here for vision. 
for detection, I guess. I mean, right now, this looks pretty scary for Protoss, right? If you look at this army with Stim, it looks pretty scary for Protoss. I mean, even here, it looks pretty scary for Protoss. What does he have? Like, two Adepts? One Adept? No, three Adepts. It's warping two more here. Stalker, two Sentries, and then Phoenix. Lift the Cyclone. And that's it. Skill batteries heal it up. And from this point on, like, this is game over. There's, it doesn't matter what Terran does from this point. Ten probes behind, or ten workers behind, with four bases. In a way, maybe the AI keeps making Phoenix because it, it keeps extending its lead. Or maybe it's just making whatever units it can, because it's already ahead. Yeah, after these games, the, the, like no one can tell me that the AI does the same thing and it's just uh, doing stuff based on percentage of wins. Like these Phoenix movements, the harassments, the Oracle harassment, everything can be explained. And I feel it does a lot of things well, and yeah, like I, I am genuinely impressed with Alpha Star Protoss. And again, I'm, I'm gonna say, the other two are not impressive. The Zerg one executes stuff very well, but I, you can see from the games that it's just doing one, the same thing over and over. And if you showed me this game, I would not know if this is a human or an AI. And I think that's what Alpha Star. Uh, I think that's what Alpha Star should be. Best entertainment. Love the channel. That's it. I want to try to find more replays. But goddamn, that was good. Cheesy potato with the hundred. Thank you so much. It's best entertainment. Love the channel, dude. Thank you so much for a hundred. Damn. Hundred dollars for Alpha Star. Yeah, that's probably see that's pro probably the Protoss Alpha Star that just donated a hundred hundred bucks. <laughs> he's like, hmm, he's complimenting me. Have a have a hundred. Thank you so much.